Welcome to Up Late, everyone. I'm Ron Jones. And I'm Aisha Howard. We're following many developing stories tonight. Up first, though, major changes to the jury in the Jennifer and Joseph Rosenbaum trial. They're the Henry County foster parents accused of killing their foster daughter, Layla. The couple faces a combined total of 49 charges, including murder. And tonight, for the very first time, the jury stayed late, hoping to reach some sort of verdict. Ryan Kruger has the latest from the Henry County Courthouse. We're now four weeks into this trial, but for the first time, the jury did not go home tonight. Instead, they were sent to a hotel, which is where they are going to be staying until a verdict is ultimately reached in this case. You see, the judge sequestered the jury in hopes that they wouldn't be contacted or distracted during their deliberations. In fact, the jury has a new member aboard after all sides agreed to replace a juror who was approached by an AJC reporter yesterday. You see, jurors are not supposed to have contact with anyone during the trial. That includes the press, members of the public, even they're not supposed to talk about the case with their own family members. That is part of the reason why the judge in this case decided to sequester the jury until they have reached a verdict. Now, the jurors were told to start over on their deliberations. However, the alternative juror has been here the entire time. They have been taking notes, so it's not like the jury is starting over from ground zero. In fact, we actually thought we might be close to a verdict tonight. You see, for the very first time, the jury asked the judge if they could work late. They worked a few hours through dinner. They had food delivered to them, but it was a little bit before eight o'clock tonight. The jury told the judge in this case they were done for the evening. They were all sent home to their hotel for the night. Defense attorneys actually argued for a mistrial today. That is the third time they've done so in this case after they learned that two jurors recently made postings on social media. Prosecutors, however, argued those postings had nothing to do with the case and therefore were irrelevant. The judge ended up agreeing, decided not to throw out the case. All sides will be back out here tomorrow morning. All right, Ryan, thanks.